Good afternoon and welcome to the 2017 uh, Hypertension Scientific Sessions. With me today is Dr. Richard Rawlman from the University of Mississippi Medical Center. Dr. Rawlman will be receiving the Excellence in Hypertension Research Award, which is the highest award given, to, uh, given by the Council uh, for Scientific Research. So congratulations, Dr. Rawlman, for receiving the award. Uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Rawlman, uh, received the award for his work on the role of eicosanoids in kidney injury and in uh, dementia. So tell us a little, a little bit about your work. It started about 30 years ago. Uh, right at this meeting I heard about, I was at that time looking for mediators that might reset the kidney and hypertension and I heard about uh, CYP P450 eicosanoids, 20 heat and EETs, and these molecules um, at that time uh, were unknown and people at this meeting reported that inhibiting it lowered blood pressure. So I got very interested in understanding where they were made and what they did and we studied them and had made some inhibitors of the pathway and over the years we found that they're involved in kidney disease, heart attack, stroke, and even cancer. Well, In addition to uh, receiving the Excellence in Hypertension Award. Dr. Rowan also gave one of our plenary lectures on some new work he's been doing over the last few years. In fact, the work began a while back, but uh, recently he's identified uh, a specific gene that might be playing uh, a role in both hypertension, kidney injury, and dementia. So tell us a little bit about that work. And that has been a really exciting uh, trend. In the 1990s in this meeting, uh, people started to do the human genome uh, research and the rat research and really we're looking for the genetic basis of stroke and heart attack and kidney disease and um, I got involved very early in that research. I found a strain of rat that gets kidney disease. I looked for the genes over the years for almost 20 years and it took a long long time because the technology was evolving. We didn't have the ability to sequence the genome. We didn't know how to make transgenic animals at that time. But more recently, that, those pieces have fallen into place. And we discovered a gene called Ducin-3 that's mutated in our animal model to cause kidney disease. And now, we were able to translate it to human in the ERIC neurocognitive function. And we found it was linked to Alzheimer's disease and dementia. And then when we went back to the animal model, which was originally a kidney disease model, we find that kidney disease is related to the susceptibility to stroke and cognitive decline with aging in these animals. So we can now study the mechanisms and hopefully come up with some treatments. Well, thanks, uh, Rich. And again, uh, congratulations on receiving the Excellence in uh, uh, Research Hypertension Award. Uh, it's an astounding achievement. and. Uh, we congratulate you again for your outstanding work. Well, thank you very much.